Magazine. Jeff from Zoo Montana is here with us in studio, oh. and you brought a very, very little friend with you today. Can, can you, you even see this thing? Look at this. <laughs> we'll see if we can get a close-up shot. I got this tiny little milk snake, brand new baby. He was actually born a snaked little baby boy. Just so cute. <laughs> did you get what I did there? I, did, I, oh, I had to make sure. Yeah. But look at that. Oh my gosh, he's only a couple months old. And he's actually grown quite a bit since, since we've had him at the zoo. But Ed, you were saying that you were surprised to find these guys were actually found in Billings. Yeah. They are. They're actually west, uh, found in eastern uh, Montana. And uh, one of our more beautiful snakes that we have here in the state. And, uh, you know, you, they do look a lot like the coral snake. And the best way you can tell, well, first of all, we don't have to worry about coral snakes here in Montana. But if you're down south, you, you have to worry about them. And the best way to tell is a little poem, of course, red on black, friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. And so if you look at their 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 uh, stripes there, mm -hmm. you can see this guy has red, red. touching black, mm -hmm. means he's a friend. <laughs> so okay. you gotta be nice to him. But All pretty right. amazing little snake. He is little. Does he have teeth? He does have teeth, yes, and they can bite. And this little guy does. Oh, sorry, he does like to, to bite quite a bit. And uh, you know, but he's so small, you can't barely even you feel can, it. And you can uh, forgive him cause exactly because he's, so he's a small. baby. And I'll tell you, he's <laughs> such a little baby that he he likes to play with a rattlesnake. Ha ha ha! Very funny. I mean, I had to put that in there. But listen, where they get the name milk snake, everybody always asks me. You know, the old folklore, uh, the farmers used to believe that when they went in the barns, they would see these guys, and somewhere along the line. Somebody thought they saw one of these snakes drinking out of the udder of a cow, oh, and okay. that's where they get the name milk snake. Now, what happened that morning, I don't know. Very <laughs> possible that snake could have bit that, that cow. Who knows? Yeah. But the name is always stuck, and that's where they get it. Now, they don't get very big. Now, of course, bigger than this, but um, they're one of our smaller <clears throat> snakes that we do have here in the state of Montana. And something I noticed, its stomach is a little lighter in color, like maybe faded a little. Than, yeah, than ab absolutely. Now, this guy also is going to be shedding quite a bit, of course, at his young age, and, mm -hmm. and as he grows, He's going to grow pretty rapidly. So a lot of that might be the getting ready to shed as well. And on snakes, you can tell they're going to shed because their eyes actually go gray. And so if you're ever out in the oh. wild and you come across a snake that's got gray eyes, you want to keep your distance because they can't see very well and they tend to be a little bit more aggressive. Okay. And despite his small size, this guy is a constrictor, so he's going to wrap around his food just like a boa constrictor does. And then, of course, swallow that prey. Something like this, he's going to eat small animals, so bugs, mice, things like that. Mm -hmm. But a great little animal to have around here in the state because, boy, they they take care of a lot of those pests that we don't want around, as you can imagine. So that's one of them you really want to look out for and leave them alone. You really do, exactly. You want to leave them alone. And, and again, it, just as beautiful as this animal is, just really look at it from a distance and enjoy it. That mm -hmm. We're lucky enough to have them here in Montana. I'll touch this You're going to touch? I'm so I'll proud touch of you. I touched wow. a snake on you, live TV. You want to hold Back him? I mean, off, this, everyone. This is more your style, how small he is. <laughs> maybe in the next segment, I'll All try right. to hold him. Yeah, because the, the other animal maybe, I have, maybe. you're not going to want to come okay, here. Okay, so, well, yeah, I'll yeah, definitely Maybe you keep this guy here. But but he is on our living wall at the zoo. You can definitely see this guy. He does like to hide a lot because he is so small, so he's a little difficult to see right now. But give him time, and he'll be out and about and uh, a bustling little uh, toddler soon. All right, Jeff, well, as I mentioned, we'll have you on again a little bit later in the Sounds show. Sounds great to me.